Yeah, good evening. Uh, today's lesson is for Standard 8. Uh, it's the first lesson of Unit 2 uh, or Chapter 3. It's Planning a Surprise. Uh, this present lesson is an excerpt from uh, Louisa May Alcott's Little Women. Uh, it's a very famous novel. It's about four sisters, uh, Margaret, Joe, Elizabeth, who is more popularly known as Beth, and Amy, the little one. So these four sisters are, uh, they are, they are uh, children of Mr. and Mrs. March. Okay, uh, so Mr. March is away, uh, in this present excerpt, Mr. March is away on a war. Uh, he is a rather elderly gentleman. He was joined uh, military service and has left his daughters to the care of his wife, Mrs. March. Now, in this present excerpt, we see this uh, four sisters sitting in their living room. Uh, there is a brief description of every sister. Uh, as you can see, uh, the story starts with a description of the room they are sitting in. Uh, it shows that uh, it is December. It's quite chilly. It's winter, and uh, the fire crackled cheerfully. It means they have a warm fire. The room is comfortable, though it does not show the traces of any riches. It shows they were not very well to do, because you can see the description. The carpet was faded, and the furniture was plain, and uh, well, a few good pictures hung on the wall, and there were lots of books in the shelves and uh, to show that it is uh, Christmas is nearing there are chrysanthemums which are uh, symbolic of Christmas season and also Christmas roses which are blooming at the window in the window so it was a very pleasant kind of setup uh, then the story describes the four sisters in brief the eldest is Margaret and out of four sisters she's 16 year old she was extremely pretty large eyes plenty of soft brown hair and beautiful hands of which but uh, she never used her hands too much she's more of a dainty kind she didn't work much she was more interested in taking care of herself the next sister was Jo Joe was 15 years old, one year younger to Margaret. Joe was very thin, tall and brown and reminded one of a colt. That means she was more like a horse. I mean, you thought of a horse when you looked at her. For she never knew what to do with her long limbs. She, was, she had very long hands and legs and she was very uncomfortable with those. She didn't know what to do with those. Uh, but she had a very decided mouth that means she spoke her mind very clearly hmm. and a comical nose her nose was very comical it's funny and uh, very sharp and gray eyes and uh, which appeared to see everything hmm. and she looked very thoughtful one of her most beautiful features was her hair she had beautiful hair and very long one which she kept tied up in a bun and covered it up with a net so that it doesn't disturb her and uh, next the, we have uh, she had very uh, the author goes on describing Joe uh, she had a very uh, uncomfortable kind of appearance hmm. uh, but uh, she was a very thoughtful and um, she, she was author. She was the uh, person who wrote all their plays. So she was uh, she was a strange uh, yet lovable kind of uh, girl. The next one we have is Elizabeth, who is uh, lovingly called in the family as Beth. And she was a rosy girl. She has smooth hair and bright eye. And she's 13 year old. So Margaret is 16, Joe is 15, Beth is 13. 
and she was rather shy and she's got a quiet voice uh, not she never spoke loudly and she had a very peaceful expression and uh, she, she was never flustered she was never worried she was always at peace her father called her little miss tranquility hmm. she only uh, talked or mixed with people whom she trusted and loved the next in line and the last one is amy amy is the youngest one and she thought she was the most important person it's always the case with the younger ones in the family in her own opinion she was very important and she was beautiful with lovely blue eyes and yellow curling hair on her shoulder pale and slender she was thin and she had a very a pale complexion and uh, she always carried herself like a young lady and always mindful of her manners she was always careful like how to behave she's the youngest one yet she's the most dainty and she was loved by all of them loved and spoiled so in the story we see that the girls have uh, readied the entire scene for their mother to arrive uh, their mother must have been away on some work she's arriving and they're making things ready for her they're warming up the sl her slippers it's very cold so when she takes off her boots she would like to step into a warm slipper so, so beth puts the slipper next to the hearth to warm so everyone was preparing for their uh, mother to arrive they call her marmy okay so we would stop here and we would go through this part of the lesson and uh, s understand the description of each girl and we will continue more the next day